Well, I tore that up pretty good. It's worse now than what it was originally when I discovered it. But you, I pretty much got an idea of what the underlying uh, plywood was like. I mean, it's pretty much rotten away. So I'm going to be removing. I want to have as less holes as I can on this uh, RV, so this this rail is gonna it's just gonna go. I don't want it up here. I don't need to uh, put anything up here on this. It's really serving no purpose other than having what six, seven more holes on the roof that I'm pretty sure each and every one of them are leaking through. So the whole rack is just gonna go. It's it's serving no purpose up here. We're gonna start at the back of the RV. We're gonna make our we're gonna work our way towards the front, removing old lap sealant, old old gooey butyl tape stuff. I and mean, there's a lot of it. Um, it. It's very tedious work, and it's gonna take a real long time to see any real progress on this RV. If you're ever doing a roof job, get yourself one of this. This makes everything so much easier as far as removing all the uh, all the vents and all the termination uh, bars. So originally, I was like concerned about this part. This part's like really hard. I was like, how the heck am I gonna take this out? I mean, I could hack at it, but then you'd get like a lot of clumps, and it start it would start to get annoying. But with this guy, just turn this guy on. <laughs> Is this how I'm supposed to do it like this? Try, uh, try cutting it. Cutting it right? Can you cut wrong? <laughs> Take a hack at it. Butyl, this old butyl gooey tape, it's just everywhere. Look at that. It's so annoying taking these out. All right, now I feel like we could remove this vent off. What I'm doing is first exposing uh, these screws hidden underneath all this old lap sealant. So I think every five inches or so there's a screw throughout this whole ventilation. So I'm gonna expose the screw, unscrew them all at once, and I'm gonna go around with my oscillating tool and pretty much tear up the underneath uh, lap sealing and old uh, tape that's on there and this will easily come up 
if I'm having any issues removing any stubborn old lab sealant on here that's what this guy is for so we have this rigid scraper attachment right on here This roofing project is that this project will absolutely ruin your tools. There is putty everywhere and this stuff is sticky. My like my skin, my, my thing the skin on my fingertips is starting to hurt just because how sticky it is and it's it just gets all over the end of your tools. So just be aware of that your tools will be ruined. Right now I'm thinking about getting rid of these two antennas. We have the TV antenna and the radio antenna. Don't I don't think I'm ever really going to be using this, but uh, I'll probably just upgrade this guy right here. Uh, what I'll do is just seal this hole off here completely after this comes up, and uh, I'll probably just upgrade this radio antenna because right now the radio is it's all right. It's not working that great, so they'll come out. screw is going to come off. I gotta expose it a little bit, kind of get to that screw. The screws are very obvious to, uh, to spot. There are some that are really, hidden really well, but once you find one screw, you will see the distance between them. You will see the pattern. You will be able to dig for them and, you know, get to them and, and screw them. But uh, once I remove this last screw here, this whole thing should start coming off. Now that I have the screw out, I should be free to remove this trim in. And there it goes.
he had uh, aluminum frame in here. It just looks like rotten work. Right? So check this out, I wanted to show you guys something. This ladder is literally just being held by the aluminum. Not even the wooden, not even the plywood that's down here. It's literally just the aluminum membrane this thing is held on to. And the other side is the same as well because it's, I can wiggle it. But that's pretty crazy and dangerous. So I'm gonna be working on taking this guy out as well as this uh, plywood that's on here. So where do we stand on this project? Right now, I got the roof completely off. Look at this mess. I mean, there's just, there's styrofoam everywhere. I'm gonna walk through this. You have uh, what looks like to be particle board that was part of the roof. It, it was the actual roof actually so let me show you upstairs and I mean upstairs upstairs I've gotten to the point where by the way this I mean all this didn't just happen in a day all this has taken days weeks for me to accomplish the whole roof has is completely off now and uh let me just show you what I mean. This is where we stand right now. I mean, all this didn't just happen in a day. All this has taken days, weeks for me to accomplish. The whole roof has, is completely off now. And uh, let me just show you what I mean. This is where we stand right now. I have these styrofoam on here in some areas such as there there and a couple more over there because we have nails protruding out of here and I don't want to accidentally step on one and when I lay the tarp all over this some areas the uh, the tarp pulls in when it starts to rain and when it pulls in it punctures this right through the tarp and then water will get in it's, it's already happened before so I went ahead and uh, just stuck in some styrofoam just to block off those screws
This is uh, Harvey. What's up, Harvey? Hey, brother. So I'm using this Tex uh, self-tapping screw. It's two and three quarters length. Phillips head on one end. The other end is sort of like a bit. It's gonna drill right through the wood portion and also the metal portion. Once it protrudes through the metal, these two wings you see on the side are gonna basically shear off. You wanna pre-drill your wood first because you don't want your wood splitting. After you've pre-drilled, you start you start screwing the tech screw in and it's basically going to uh, penetrate the wood and the metal for a nice secure. I'm loving how this feels so far. I've added tons of support up here. For these rafters, I've added these braces along the corners. See, I've added them in every corner that I've could back there, and it just makes for a whole lot better support while I'm standing up here. Because the goal is to add a whole bunch of, or as much as I could, of uh, solar panels up here. I don't know how much I'll be able to fit, but I want to be able to support all that weight as well as my weight up here. Because the previous roof setup was was pretty weak just walking through it but I'm walking all over this right now and all this feels really really solid yeah I'm feeling a whole lot confident here <laughs> 